Salutations, Internet! This is Frosty the Dragon here with a preliminary video for the Terminal Velocity Let's Play. The video shall serve two purposes. My settings will be shown within the game, as you're seeing right now. But far more important to this is my reason for playing a normal difficulty when so many other people have done it, rather than, say, one of the harder two difficulties to stand out from the crowd, an idea suggested by my good friend Seeker. Yes, the same one you've met already. Because he suggested playing the hardest difficulty when I mentioned playing a normal, given that I've only seen one video of Terminal Velocity play on hard and one play on Terminal difficulty, I get what he's trying to pull here. But I have to disagree. Terminal difficulty in this game, I believe, is for challenge runs and challenge runs alone. It really does not have enough place for an entertaining Let's Play. Three reasons for this. First, double the flying enemies in this difficulty. A lot more of my shots are going to get blocked, a lot more things shooting at me at once. Two, enemies will stay on your flanks and backside much more readily in this mode. You, base, you more or less have to dogfight. Uh, one, the dogfighting in this game is kind of... Nah, because the enemies dodge your shots so easily. Two, this game is nausea-inducing as it is. I don't get motion sick, so I can record. But... Yeah. I, f I will be flipping enough as is in the normal playthrough. Third, by far the single biggest reason I won't play on Terminal. Anything and everything, even the storage bunkers, has at least twice the normal amount of health compared to normal. Use, you're using much more ammunition to take on objectives. Combined with the dogfighting thing, you basically have to do strafing runs to take out the objectives if you don't want to get completely wrecked. And it basically winds up an overall longer experience for what really amounts to no benefit. The boss fight that you're that you're seeing in this video, or at least going to see, very clear demonstration of this. Notice how many missiles I pump into the shield generators, and notice that I basically have nothing left when it comes to t comes time to fight the boss itself. Ultimately, it's also a matter of skill because I'm unable to pass the first planet on terminal difficulty. And I should also add that if your craft is shot down and you restart the mission. You lose everything. Do this on a later planet, and the game basically becomes unwinnable at that point. Given a quirk with the save system that I'm going to be explaining sometime in the first few episodes, I more or less have to play the whole game in a single take. So a death on a later planet means I have to start the whole run over. I'll shut up and let the rest of this play out so that you too can see why I won't play on terminal difficulty and why I stand by my decision to play on normal. I may, may be open to a challenge on terminal difficulty down the road. I don't have the machismo right now, plain and simple. This is Frosty, signing out so that the rest of this thing can play out as intended.